Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll talk about 10 foods that we eat that can really get the best of your cat. While not every food on this list will fall under that never eat category, many are considered off limits due to the fact that regular consumption could make your cat very sick. While it can be easy to assume that cats can be left alone near quote unquote people food, and the worst thing that happens is, well, they eat it. That worst thing is to never be taken lightly, as a couple of bites of the wrong thing can spell real trouble. Before we take a look at this very important subject and provide our list of 10 foods, let's take a quick look at today's topic overview. Toxic foods for cats include grapes and raisins, caffeine, alcohol, chocolate, avocado, and excessive tuna fish. Cats are usually lactose intolerant and shouldn't consume dairy products such as milk, cream, and cheese. In addition, avoid feeding your cat raw meat and fish due to the risk of bacterial poisoning. As a friendly rule, it's just best not to take chances. While things do happen that are beyond our control at times, it's best just to take the responsible approach and keep human foods away from your cat. It's always wise to think of the big picture when it comes to your cat rather than just thinking in that moment, especially when we're talking about food and drink. And speaking of taking in the moment, we thank you so much for taking a few moments out of your day to join us. Your support means everything to us, and we know that videos, hey, well, they're really nothing at all without viewers. We are always grateful for your support, and whether you're joining us for the very first time or you are two years and counting, we appreciate all of you, and we do hope to see you again down the road. Now, let's press on with today's very important topic. Cats, like children, love to copy human behavior as much as possible. It should also be said that cats are very territorial. In respect to the food world, this means that what is yours is mine, or at least it should be mine. And being a loving owner, it can be easy to give in to your cat. We've all been there and given our pets something we know they really shouldn't have. Hey, guilty as charged right here, unfortunately. However, a quick one-off of the wrong food is one thing. Feeding your cat human foods on a regular basis can be quite another, especially when many foods are not as forgiving as others. Cats have very sensitive stomachs, and human foods can really get the best of a feline's digestive system. This is why it's important to shield your cat from your food while paying special attention to avoid specific foods at all costs. Before we detail those specific and certain foods to avoid, let's talk about some symptoms. How do you know if your cat is really starting to get sick? Are there some early red flags that things are just not sitting quite right? In some cases, cats can have a rather aggressive and allergic reaction to human food. Some notable symptoms can include vomiting and diarrhea, gas and flagellants, skin irritation such as scratching, outbreaks of hives and red patches on the skin, coughing and sneezing, and shortness of breath can also occur in some cases. While it can be easy to assume that a sickness due to human food consumption will just come and go with no issues, some selections can indeed be toxic. This is pretty much the equivalent of us licking motor oil or paint. What is food to us is not always food to cats in terms of a physical reaction. It's, well, poison. As for our list, this is a random 10 in no particular order. And you'll also notice that a few items within our topic overview are not included on this list. That is because they are listed within our detailed written material, which you can find at SeniorCatWellness.com. We'll talk more about the written side of life near the conclusion of today's presentation. Now, on with our list of 10 foods that can potentially make your cat very sick. First on our list is dairy. While milk and cats have always had an association and always will, too much milk consumption can lead to bloating, gas, and an upset stomach. Cats are unable to properly digest lactose, and this can promote a host of issues. And oh yeah, no cheese. Cheese is 100% off limits. Next up is chocolate. I mean, this one is a bit obvious, but it's incredibly dangerous. Chocolate can potentially lead to heart failure, and cooking chocolate can prove fatal within hours. While white chocolate is less toxic, that's really not saying much. So keep chocolate away from your cat at all times. While this could seem a bit strange, of a somewhat of a strange selection, garlic and onions is our next. It's our next item on the list because these items can be served to a cat directly, yet also within other foods, things can potentially get lost in translation a bit. 
as you could be feeding your cat something safe while the ingredients do contain a bit of garlic and a bit of onion. Both garlic and onions can cause anemia in felines. Your cats could find it quite difficult to breathe not long after consumption. Lethargy and drowsiness are also common symptoms. The next dangerous food is that of raw meat. I really don't think there's too much to explain here. While cats are obligate carnivores, raw meat is loaded with harmful bacteria. This increases the risk of salmonella and or taxoplasmosis. Staph infection is also possible. This has lose written all over it. Please keep raw meat away from your cat. And while we're talking about raw meat, next on our list is raw fish and seafood. Consumption can break down the vitamin B1 within a cat's body. Since vitamin B1 is responsible for metabolizing carbohydrates, organ function can suffer. A vitamin B1 or thiamine deficiency can lead to uncoordinated gait, loss of proper motor function, and seizures. All fish must be properly cooked and deboned. That brings us to our next food, and that next food is tuna. Yeah, here comes the controversy. Well, perhaps. Why is tuna on this list? Yeah, why is it on this list? My cat loves tuna. Here again, as we mentioned, not every food is off limits altogether. Moderation is indeed the key. Controlled servings. Tuna, however, can be very dangerous in large quantities and in daily servings. Mercury poisoning is the biggest threat, which can promote kidney disease. Your best bet in terms of safety is to feed your cat chunk light tuna that is packed in water. Avoid oils when possible. Here again, moderation, moderation, yeah, moderation. Green or unripe tomatoes, that's up next. While red tomatoes are fairly safe for cats, green and unripe tomatoes can prove fatal. Green tomatoes contain a compound known as solanine. This puts them in the same family as the deadly nightshade plant, thus making them toxic and extremely dangerous. Next on our list of potentially dangerous foods, we have avocado and guacamole. While in moderation, the meat of an avocado can be safely consumed. However, the leaves, pit, and skin of a toxin known as persin, P-E-R-S-I-N, if you're curious. Although safe for humans, this toxic can cause gastrointestinal issues for felines. Additionally, the pits can promote a choking hazard in respect to guacamole. The fat and persin is even higher. Additionally, guac often contains a host of ingredients, most of which are quite harmful, such as onions, peppers, and garlic, a few familiar names that we've mentioned here today. Our next item, well, it's the orange. While oranges or the meat of an orange is okay for feline consumption if handled in moderation, the seeds, and especially the peel, must be removed. Orange peels contain some rather toxic essential oils that can induce citrus poisoning. And the final food that we'll discuss today is not really a food at all. It's what's left of some foods, the bones. Quite dangerous to say the very least. Bones can cause infection if it breaks the skin within the mouth and the gums. Potentially it could break a cat's teeth and is all but ground zero in terms of a choking hazard. Even if you've fed your cat a safe food, if bone is left behind, retrieve it as soon as possible. In terms of keeping food away from cats, outside of the obvious, the best measures to take involve safe and proper storage, making sure your cat is properly fed prior to your personal mealtime, the denial of any table scraps, as this can promote negative behavior based on the expectation of food, and the last suggestion is to simply clean up after your meal. Never leave unfinished food on the table. This is just a recipe for disaster especially if you have a naturally curious feline during mealtime. If your pet is already curious about what's on the table, leaving the table undetended with food on the plate could be serious trouble, not to mention a potential mess as your cat could knock things over. And on that note, that will close things out for the video portion of this material. However, if you'd like to know more, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com. There you will find a full-length and highly detailed article that will cover everything we've mentioned here today and so much more, including some additional food items that were not covered in this presentation. So if you'd like to know more, here again, please check us out. We think you'll find our written material to be quite beneficial. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we do encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to the article in question. 
And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later. Thank you.